Welcome to the Wellington Eye Clinic. This video is going to show LASIK surgery with the Wavelight Refractive Suite comprising the FS200 femtosecond laser and the EX500 eczema laser. This is the world's fastest platform. Alright, so Niall's eyes are perfectly aligned, so we know he's lying squarely. Oh, now over here, you're going to see that series of lights I yeah. told you about, the little green one yeah. right in the middle. I do feel like I've got a bit of grit in my eye at the moment. We're going to put some more drops into a moment, don't worry, it's just this thing from the anaesthetic. Uh, and then four little orange ones, and then the four big white ones. Yeah. Will you just pop another drop of anaesthetic in, please? Yeah. So just try and open wide again. Great. Okay, just keep your eyes shut for a while, and while it's closed, just look around a little. Okay, now you can open up again and look straight ahead. That's pretty good. And now you're going to be aware of the sensation. Just while we put this little thing in to help keep your eye open, look back towards me. That's it. Just keep on looking there for the moment. This takes about a minute getting used to this. I'm trying to look straight ahead again. And it won't be long before this settles down. And you may think you're blinking, but you're not. This thing's keeping you from blinking. So even if you think you are blinking, you're not. This here is just to get your lashes out the way. And now we're going to do a measurement that you won't even be aware of. We're just going to measure how thick the cornea is. So if you just look directly at the green light as best you can. So this is a non-touch measurement of the, of the corneal thickness. Now we know how thick it is, 549, that's pretty good. And this is an additional anesthetic. All right, and now what's going to happen, the bed's going to swing across, okay? Can you just turn your head very, very slightly to your left? Very, very slightly. Just your head, just your head. A little bit more, and then look straight ahead. That's it. Hold your head just Still like that. The green spot. All right. Yeah, that's okay. But the bed's going to swing now. The bed's going to swing across. All right, and now, you won't see it yet, but this is the part where you're going to see the circular... The circular light. So where am I looking now? I'm going to give it to you in a moment. Oh, There's a, the, uh... You should now see a bit of a... Oh, yeah. a so, what are you seeing? What the eye is defocused light? upwards by having the two Heaney beams meet in the pupil and then continue towards the limbus. When the Heaney's reach the limbus, we are ready for application of the cone. And now this is the part where you're going to become aware of the pressure feeling. And this pressure feeling lasts for about 30 seconds. And the key thing here is that once the pressure's up and you've lost vision potentially, that you simply keep on looking to where you know the lights are. Right, suction on, please. Okay, that looks very, very good indeed. You're doing great. And now you're going to become aware of a little bit more pressure. Just do your best to keep on looking straight. The green overlay depicting the flap can now be digitally moved to the position of choice, as can the hinge position. All right, fantastic. Make this, yeah, there we go. Very good. All right. You're doing very nice. You just keep it nice and steady. Very, very good. You're doing absolutely fantastically. Brilliant. That's the worst of it ever, by the way. All right, fantastic. Now what you're going to do is the bed's going to swing across the other way. Okay. Now that the flap is being created, the bed is going to move from the femtosecond laser back to the eczema laser. It's a pretty blurry now. That's quite normal. Don't worry about that. All right, now try and look straight ahead again and see if you can find that series of lights. So find the four big white ones the moment you're looking down. So look, try and look back here towards me. There we go. Can you see the four big white ones? I'm trying to see the green now, uh, yeah. You could potentially get the green one now, can you? Yeah. All right, That's fantastic. Right. It's all right around it now, yeah. That's it, perfect. All right, now you're going to be aware of some manipulation on the surface. Looks 
pretty good. Things are quite blurred now, don't worry about that. The, the track is going to become involved in a moment. The image on the left is the operating microscope image and the image on the right is that of the eye tracker. A heads-up display within the microscope shows the eye tracker's signal strength as well as how far the procedure has progressed in percentage terms. The eye tracker quality can also be seen on the lower right of the screen at around 92%. The refraction to be treated is right eye plus 350 minus 5.25 axis 19 and the left eye plus 3.25 minus 475 axis 175. The right eye corrects to 6 over 6 while the left eye achieves 6 over 7.5. The slit lamp is very useful here to ensure that there is no interface debris and that the flap is perfectly aligned. A wet Wexel sponge can be used to gently position the flap and ensure that it is perfectly smooth and positioned. Right now, so you your first eye is basically treated and it's gone perfectly well, which means I'm more than happy to treat the other one. I'll just give you a minute's break or so while we set up. And that's gone great. Is it what you expected? Yeah, I don't really know what I was expecting. <laughs> Keep your eye open. Fantastic. And now keep it shut. Keep your eye closed for a little while. All right, and now you can open both eyes again and just blink a few times gently. And look around a little. Look left and right. Look up and down straight ahead. Right, that's fantastic. Okay, so now I'm going to treat your left eye. So while we're treating your left eye, uh -huh. you're going to notice that we're not going to just pop a drop in for you so long. And if you want, you can keep it shut once the drop goes in. You're going to notice that we are not going to tape the right eye shut. Okay. I don't want anything that can potentially harm that little flap. Now, the little flap's perfect. I don't want it to move. Yeah. So you do whatever you like during the procedure. Most people tend to keep the eye closed. It doesn't really matter because I'm going to be covering your eye with my hand like this anyway. Yeah. Just to make sure that it's, it's your left eye that's seeing the lights. All right, so for the moment, can you see the green light again? Yeah, yeah it looks good. All right, and even though you know exactly what to expect, this still feels strange. So just give it a minute getting used to this thing. The EX500 has increased working distance and there is more space for manoeuvring. The motorized eye tracker does not swing into position as with a 400 IQ, but glides into position by dropping down gently and lifting up afterwards. Right, fantastic. We're now going to do another measurement. Non-touch pachymetry allows measurements of the pre-operative corneal thickness and then once the flap is made, the residual corneal thickness. This provides very accurate measurements of flap thickness intraoperatively without any instrument touching the cornea. Alright, try and keep that little tilt going and now the bed's going to swing across this way. Now that the eye is anaesthetized and the speculum is in position and the non-touch pachymetry has been done, the bed is going to swing from the eczema position to the femtosecond position. Okay, so this is the part where you become aware of the, the pressure feeling. You're going to get that little tunnel. I, I like that description. If you look straight into the tunnel, 
very, very good. Perfect. Okay, and this is where you have that pressure feeling. And once the pressure goes up, just keep it dead steady. The suction ring is descended slightly superiorly so that more limbus is exposed at the 12 o'clock position. This provides space for the channel to vent the exhaust gas that would have otherwise collected and contributed to an OBL. Now you're going to become aware of a little bit more pressure. It looks perfect. Just make the tunnel longer. Okay. You're going to start now. Keep it dead steady. It's going to go a bit dark. Keep it nice and steady. Fantastic, and now it won't be long before the bed swings across again. So we'll see, we'll see those familiar lights again. That's it, good. And now you can you'll... see them to the inside there and just... Ah, oh, it's because there's, there's still air under the flap. Mm -hmm. The laser works by putting millions, trillions of little air bubbles into the cornea. And it's just little air bubbles. So we're looking at the green or the orange? At the green, please. And if you can't see the green, then you look into the middle of the orange. Now you're going to hear the laser warming up. It's 10 seconds. All right, this treatment's 10 seconds long. One can see the pachymetry reading at the lower right of the screen, measuring 451 microns, giving a flap thickness of 116 microns. This treatment is 9.7 seconds for a plus one, plus four cylinder correction. Very, very good. You're doing great. Just keep on looking straight ahead. That is fantastic. Very, very good. And now you're going to be aware of cold water on the surface again. expect is for the next two or three hours your eyes can be a little gritty a bit scratchy a bit like there's something in the eye so the very best thing to do is to go and try and sleep this patient was plano seeing six over six in the right eye and minus a quarter minus a quarter axis 110 seeing six over 7.5 unaided in the left eye the next morning we expect this will improve even further with time it's like you're in a room that's full of smoke yeah. And then as the day goes on, that gets better and better and better. And so put a drop in night? One more? Tomorrow morning when you wake up, you should see a, a serious improvement, a marked improvement. And then today you're going to go home with shields on, and those little shields stay on the whole time. Mm -hmm. You take them off just to put the drops in, and then put the shields straight back on again. Or you can just blink a few times. Fantastic. Very, very good. Now let's check the other eye. And blink a good few times. And open wide. And that looks fabulous. Very, very good. Well done. Okay. So the bed's going to go out now. Um, mm -hmm. Don't get up until the bed stops, okay? And then Claire's going to guide you up. But that's it. It's gone really well. Sweet. Well done. The case that you have just seen 
showed a small OBL that was present, but didn't hinder the procedure in any way. In fact, the patient got a fantastic result. I'm going to show you two further cases where there is no OBL. We're now viewing the eye through the femtosecond microscope, and the Heaney beams have been decentered to appear on the limbus. The suction ring is applied on the eye, and as the first suction is achieved, a green bar on the screen will inform us of this. The second step then is to engage the cone, and once the cone is applinated on the cornea, a second suction is activated. At this stage one can see the suction being achieved, and once there is good applination, the treatment can start. The treatment is going to start first of all with a small exhaust at the 12 o'clock position to allow the gas to escape, and as the flap is created, there's no OBL formed as all the gas is escaping through the exhaust. The flap takes only seven seconds to make, and now the cone is being disengaged. We're now viewing the eye through the eczema microscope, and simply by sweeping across the surface, some further gas is expelled. The edge of the flap is lifted by pressing downwards at a 70 degree angle and once the plane has been achieved with light movements these fine adhesions can be dissected and the flap can be lifted and one can see here yeah, that the flap is perfectly smooth and perfectly clear and we're ready to go ahead and do the eczema ablation. We're now viewing the eye through the femtosecond microscope. You can see the bubbles escaping from the exhaust and the flap is created in about seven seconds. The edge of the flap is cut now and you can still see bubbles coming from the exhaust. And so the flap has now been done. We're now viewing through the eczema laser microscope and the edge of the flap has been found and lifted and the interface is being cleared and now the flap is being folded back on itself and again we are ready for surgery. What we're going to do now is to center the eye and we're going to do a non-touch pachymetry. So you'll see the eye coming in and out of focus and when the two henies meet is when a pachymetry measurement is taken. So we've taken a couple of measurements there and the moment we're happy that we've got good measurements we will now focus directly on the eye and we're now ready to proceed.